Hello, everyone. Have you ever prayed for something? Maybe you prayed for something one time. Maybe two times. Maybe many times. Then after a while, you get what you have been praying for. As it seems, in your mind, you may think, you know what, this came to me in a particular way, so I believe this thing or whatever I prayed for came to me without the assistance of God. Have thoughts like that come into your mind. For instance, you may have prayed to God for a person to treat you nicely. You may have prayed to God for something good to happen to you. When you got what you wanted, it may have happened in a way that would try, not so much try, but it may have happened in a way where it seems God had nothing to do with it. And I am here to tell you that is a lie. Don't even think in that way. To make a very easy example, let's say that you had a headache and you prayed to God over and over again to get rid of that headache. After five hours or so, you don't have a headache. You may begin thinking that God had nothing to do with getting rid of your headache. That is a lie. You may believe inside of your mind if god doesn't do it in this way if god doesn't do it in a particular time period if it does happen it was not god because he didn't do it in the exact way or ways i expected if you think in that way, that is wrong. I have been praying off and on for years. And I believe I can tell you the prayers, I believe much of the prayers that have been answered, I believe they were answered in ways I did not expect. Sometimes inside of my mind, I may imagine how God is going to answer this prayer and that prayer. Just because I imagine God answering a prayer in a particular way, it doesn't mean he has to use that way to answer my prayer. We really need to stop limiting God when it comes down to when we pray to him, you may think inside of your mind, like, hey, um, I can't really imagine how God is going to do this particular thing for me. So since I can't really imagine I am not going to pray about it. That is wrong. Just because something is impossible for you, it doesn't mean it is impossible for God. This reminds me of something back in the past, and this may seem very minor, 
I went somewhere. Um, the plane ticket for that trip was around one thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay. I planned. I went there another time too. Before I went, I did not want to spend one thousand eight hundred dollars. So beforehand, I prayed and I prayed for. This may seem very insignificant to you. Anyways, I prayed and I prayed. Someone else prayed with me too, I believe. And I believe we both prayed. I forget exactly, but I believe we both prayed for the ticket to be $900, around $900. Me and that person prayed many times. If I remember correctly, we prayed longer than a week, longer than a month. I honestly, I think longer than two or three months. So when I would pray, not saying every time, I would set out time to pray about the plane ticket price because I did not want to pr uh, pay 1,800 or around that again. I don't remember the time frame exactly, but maybe after three or four months or so, with taxes included, I think, I purchased, after a while, I purchased a ticket under $900. Imagine that. I think it was 892 or 3 or something like that. As I stated before, you may say, Kevin, that doesn't really prove anything. That is very small. What are you talking about? That is only one example I am giving. Let me give you another example. But I may not speak about much of the details. I was in a situation, like a very serious thing. Off and on, I was praying about it so much. So much, like um, I went on, it was almost a seven day fast. I think I was two or three hours short of fasting seven days. No, in, no eating, no drinking, straight, almost seven days. And I was extremely weak. I was praying, 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 and praying. People came to me. People spoke to me. Telling me. What I was, in short, pretty much. What I am expecting of God, it is not going to happen. Yes. This was coming from Christians, some Christians. Imagine that. Maybe one or more Christians told me that. Not in those exact words, but, you know, to sum it up, pretty much. After two or more years or so, I received what I want it from God. Did it happen exactly the way I wanted it to? Like down to 
every step? No. Um, I thought I was going to receive it earlier. I had no idea it was going to take around two years. I had no idea. I did not know that this thing would happen, this other thing. I did not know exactly, I did not know that certain things were going to happen. Honestly, I thought I was going to have an easier time. But throughout the fasting, I believe I fasted more than one time, throughout the fasting, throughout the praying, and I believe people prayed for me too, pretty much I received the outcome I wanted. Did it happen as quickly as I wanted it to? No. It took so long. Did everything happen in the way I expected? No. It was more difficult than I expected. Through all of that, I still received what I wanted from God in that instance. If you prayed for something, stop believing that it was not God that gave you what you wanted. Let me say this too. Let's say you are choosing to pray for something evil and you received that evil thing. Chances are, it may not have been God that gave you that bad thing. If you are praying for something that isn't a sin, no matter how long it takes, no matter what happens in a sense, if you receive what you prayed for, I believe a very large chance it was God that gave you what you prayed for. I hope all of this makes sense. May God bless us.